Welcome to Sean on the Go. This is a ride I took over Ebbets Pass on opening day. It's beautiful this time of year, and although we didn't go actually on opening day, we went within 24 hours of the pass opening. There's still a lot of snow in the ground, and this year, of course, we didn't get too much snow, but you still have gravel, rocks, and debris, and things you need to watch out for. They do a lot of patchwork, as you can see here, and a lot of rocks and gravel fall on the road, and if you come around the corner and hit one of these, it can be quite dangerous, especially when you're driving by looking at the lakes and enjoying the view. Here's a couple shots of some rocks, and these are pretty good sized rocks. I happen to be filming video and able to take some snapshots of. There's also a lot of cyclists. As you're going down, looking at the lake, driving around, just sightseeing, maybe taking pictures, next thing you know, you come around a corner, just like this video here, and you might see a cyclist. So be careful, stay safe, and stay alert. If you like this type of video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel to continue to get updates on videos with my newest adventures. If you haven't ridden Ebbets Pass, you need to get up there. It's a beautiful stretch of road, but keep in mind it is a windy mountain road. And with that, you'll be passing cars, trucks on windy roads. You may turn a corner and be head on with another car or motorcycle or possibly have a deer or another animal standing there or running in front of you. So be careful, be safe, and be alert. If you do want to get up there and play a little speed racer, the last four or five miles before you reach the summit is a beautiful stretch of road. Each time you turn a corner, it seems to open up and it's fairly safe to, uh, let's say, go a little faster, if you will. And it has beautiful views as well. We didn't get a lot of rain or snow this year, but as you can see, there's still plenty of snow on the ground. So be careful, as there might be gravel in the road, maybe a wet spot in the corner where some snow's running off. So be careful, especially in those corners. Here's a few shots of some wide open roads and just cruising along safely. We're pulling into Markleyville. We're gonna stop at the Cutthroat Saloon here, grab us a pretzel and a beer maybe and head back over the hill towards Murphy's. But we might hit Monitor Pass on the way. Ebbets Pass has a lot of great views and vantage points, places to pull over and take in the view, but you also pass quite a few lakes. We pass Lake Alpine, Mosquito Lake, and Kinney Reservoir. And if you haven't seen Mosquito Lake, it is a pristine alpine looking lake. This is the four or five miles just below Ebbets Pass Summit that I mentioned earlier. One of my favorite stretches of road is it seems very safe as each time you take a corner you can see the road open out in front of you. I love this stretch of road. Here's a few images of Mosquito Lake. 